boring presentations. We've all been there. You know the type of presentation I'm talking about. It's twice as long as it needs to be. The slides are crammed full of text and there's no visuals to explain concepts or to make it more interesting. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 essential presentation design tips that you can follow to make sure that none of your presentations bore your audience to tears. Hey there, my name's Sarah and I'm the blog editor over at Vengage. At Vengage, our goal is to empower you to create engaging designs and to help you communicate effectively. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 essential presentation design tips that everyone should follow. These tips will help you summarize information effectively for your presentation and will also help you design slides that will keep your audience focused and attentive. But before we dive in, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you never miss any of our helpful design guides. Tip number one, identify one core message to design your presentation around. According to a survey conducted by Think Outside the Slide, audiences are easily overwhelmed by slides that contain too much text and data, especially when the presentations are long. That's why you shouldn't try to tackle too many complex ideas in your presentation. Instead, identify one core message and design your presentation around that. Here's an example of a presentation with one clear, straightforward core message. To eat your vitamins. Eat your vitamins. Tip number two, eliminate any information that doesn't support your core message. Once you've identified the core message of your presentation, you can cut any information that doesn't support that core message. By cutting the extra unnecessary details, you can turn boring, text-heavy slides into memorable slides that deliver impact. Some types of information that you should get rid of on your slides are detailed descriptions, background information, trivia, redundant statements, and explanations of common knowledge. And some types of information that you should keep on your slides are persuasive facts and figures, illustrative examples, and impactful quotes. Tip number three, use text to reinforce not repeat what you're saying. According to presentation guru Nancy Duart, your audience should be able to understand the information on your slide in just Accord According to presentation guru Nancy Duart, your audience should be able to understand the information on your slide in just six seconds. Plus, there's a good chance that your audience is going to try to read every word that you put on your slide. That's why your slide should support what you're saying, not repeat everything you say word for word. You can do this by summarizing paragraphs using bullet points and by making quotes and important numbers the focus of your slides. Tip number four, offer one main takeaway per slide. Like I mentioned already, your audience will have trouble following slides that have too much information stuffed into them. Instead, you should spread out your information over multiple slides and dedicate only one main message to each slide. A trick to do this is to pick one core message for every slide and to try and express it using just a few keywords. This will also help the visuals remain the focus of the slide. And another trick is to pull out the most important statistics or numbers that you want to stick in your audience's mind and to make those the focus of the slide. Yes, this means that you're probably going to end up with a presentation that has a lot of slides, but that's perfectly okay. In fact, as a rule of thumb, you should create at least as many slides as there are minutes in your presentation. Tip number five, use visuals to highlight the core message of each slide. Visuals are a great way to eliminate extra text on your slide and to help make information more engaging and easier to understand. In fact, we surveyed over 300 digital marketers asking them what visual format they found to be the most engaging for their audiences. And the overwhelming winner was original graphics like infographics. I'll link to the full study in the description box below in case you're curious. 
Some types of visuals you can include in your slides to highlight the core message are timelines, flow charts, bar graphs, pie charts, data visualizations like infographics, and mind maps. You can also use icons to represent simple concepts. Not to brag, but over at Vengage, we've got over 40,000 icons that you can use. You should check it out. Tip number six, use progress slides to keep your audience oriented and engaged. It's easy for your audience to get lost in a long presentation, especially if you've got a lot of slides. That's where progress slides help. Progress slides are used throughout your presentation to denote the beginning and end of major sections. Generally, progress slides are designed like agendas, appearing after introductions or title slides. This gives your audience the sense that they're making progress through the presentation and will let them know what information is still coming. Another way to show progress is to add a progress bar to the foot of your slides so people can keep track of where you are in your presentation. Tip number seven, use text size, color, and weight for emphasis. As a rule of thumb, every slide should have a focal point that draws the eye to it. And that focal point should be the most important piece of information that you want to communicate. You can create a focal point by using text that is bigger, bolder, or a different color from the rest of the text on the slide. This trick can be especially useful if you want to draw attention to keywords in a longer passage of text. That's why, when it comes to picking fonts for your presentation, pick a font that shows a noticeable difference between the bold and regular font face. Tip number eight, make consistent design choices throughout your presentation. When it comes to design, consistency is key. Your audience will probably be quick to pick up and fixate on any design inconsistencies in your presentation. That's why your design choices like your fonts, colors, and visuals should have a consistent style throughout your entire presentation design. And don't worry, consistent design doesn't mean it has to be boring. You can still use bright color schemes with lots of engaging visuals. Just make sure that they follow the same style. Tip number nine, alternate your slide layouts to keep your audience engaged. A way to add some variety to your presentation design is to vary the slide layouts that you use. This will give your audience something fresh to look at. Try mixing vertically split slides with horizontally split slides and single quote slides with slides showing visuals or charts. And finally, tip number 10, use color filters to help text stand out from your background images. A busy background image can make it hard to read the text on your slides, and it can create a slide design that looks kind of cluttered and confusing. But a simple trick is to use a color filter on your background image to mute the image and help the text pop. This is a handy trick that not only applies to presentation design, but also report design, poster design, infographic design, and virtually anything. You can do this on Vengage by dragging a square icon onto your slide, fitting the icon to the dimensions of the background image, and then adjusting the opacity of the icon so that the image shows through. And there you have it, 10 essential presentation design tips that everyone should follow. To find all of the presentation templates that we showed in this video, plus a ton more, check out our templates library. Just go to vengage.com slash templates slash presentations. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe so that you never miss any of our helpful design guides. And now I've got a question for you. What's the worst presentation that you've ever sat through? Dish in the comments below. Bye for now. See you next time for another design guide brought to you by Vengage. Thank you.